my friend. Do you remember those days on the battlefield? <sighs> Hey, it's Faye from Tiny Wave TV, and today, my friends, in this installment of my Legend of the Galactic Heroes journal, the Gaiden edition, we're getting into the Silver White Valley arc. That's quite the tongue twister, isn't it? And where to begin, if not with this beautiful opening? I'm gonna be honest with you, I only watched it the first time. And for the rest of the episodes, I skipped it because I couldn't handle all the feels. Like, it's fine until the pre chorus, and then we enter the chorus, and I'm like, no, I. I can't skip! Chapter 1. It's the year 791 you see. Fluffy yellow and fluffy red are at the fluffy age of 15. Actually, I don't think 15 is a fluffy age, like, at all. It's a tough age. Anyone who's watching this video in their teens, just hang in there. It will pass. So the episode starts with this, um, woman. When they killed her in the OVA, the way they did it, I felt bad for her. And I, and I still do. Kinda. It was a disturbing scene. But having watched this and the next couple of storylines, I'm like, she, she was quite the menace. And she had a comment. And I think that kind of grabs me every now and again with these imperial episodes is that i don't know can it be called anachronism like we're in a carriage and then there's this lady inside working with a laptop the op is like that too like the whole thing gives anne of green gables but then there's a spaceship i know that that kind of juxtaposition is the empire style but moments like that make my brain go what the fuck <laughs> for like a split second anyway back to the carriage and the laptop <laughs> Right? Right? Now the fluffy duo can be found on this icy, hostile planet. She's cute though. Being assigned to a faraway land, meeting a boss that will later be threatened by their presence, and will also be taken care of by them. I'm seeing parallels. And just like with the other storyline, I'm seeing things in a new light. When we first met Zeke and Reinhardt in the main storyline, they were almost there with their goal. So the conversations were mostly like, Reinhardt to Sama. Oh. Curious. Stars. Damn, they're good. They're gonna be yours, sir. Anytime now. Right, can you be mine? <coughs> I mean, the conversations they had weren't half as juicy as the stuff we're getting in the guidance. What if we subtract every... Hi, I'd say it's essential, even, to watch these episodes. There were times during the OVA that I wondered what was going on in Reinhardt's head. In other words, I questioned his tactical genius. And he got outwitted by Wenli left and right, right? But him in this storylines, he told me to sit down and I am sad. On the other hand, I'm seeing different sides to my boy Zeke as well. There are a lot of cute things about him that give me life. But there are also unpleasant stuff. Y'all know what I feel about him and sister. Every time he pines for her, I, I can't. I can't. And this scene. The scene with the lady started out terrifying. Then it got slightly anime, and then Reinhardt showed up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Then they got the order to go on their first mission, which was the captain's obvious attempt at eliminating them. It was the beginning of those feudal attempts. The beginning of their long, long history of battles, y'all. It just feels so good to know that however close they get to death, like however dire the narrator makes the situation to look like, they're not gonna die. When I was watching the OVA, I was afraid. I was petrified. As long as I know what happened there, I know I'm gonna stay alive. I will survive. Yeah. だけどお前はそれだけじゃダメだ俺の代理として何万責物の艦隊を引いてくれなくてはならないんだからなあ Maybe not? Now here's what I talk about when I say these conversations are juicy ラインハルト様が重視されるのは想像と放送ですねそうだそれにつけても あの騎士の連中には戦略的な意義というものがまるで分かっていない帝国軍の上層部にしてからそうだなぜ戦うのか目的を達成するために何をなすべきか
My very first reaction to him criticizing the imperial force was like, Reinhardt, my boy, you're 15! But he's right. Everything he says is correct and he's gonna act upon it and revolutionize the Galactic Empire. I watched that with admiration and a bit of envy. Because, you know, the system is almost always stronger than that one individual that enters it with innovative ideas and aspirations for change. More often than not, the system crushes the individual either to get rid of them or to make them into a cog so yeah there's a difference between a hero and a cog what is he doing in the middle of an important discussion yeah heroes also have good hair now there's nothing quite like a date inside a tank in a blizzard eating a horrible bread with lukewarm coffee talking about where you'd like to die right but Zeke had to have a dream of sister <laughs> For the one hundredth time. I bought my life. So I can't go. I have to go back to my family. 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 But he didn't really get what she said, right? Because if he did, it's his time for the master of using everyone and everything, advantages and disadvantages alike, so he can achieve his goals to shine. It was freezing cold, though. The way they took the Malayan folks down, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Cold-blooded Blondie continues to shine, this time as an actor. Oh my god, give the boy his Oscar! But soon after, he had to break character. お前はもう死んでいる。The dude dug his own grave, insulting the goddess in front of her priests? Unforgivable. And then that whole surprise attack situation came up and... This right here is the exact same wavelength he later found himself on together with Oberstein. We got some more of Reinhardt's acting in chapter 4. Again, where is the Oscar? We got some fluffiness too. <laughs> Is it though? Huh. I was enjoying the scene where they exposed the captain and spoiled his evil plans. But the dude had to go and jump off the cliff and spoil my mood. I can't even downright hate on him. Not after he sacrificed himself for his family. Also like the part when they mentioned the planet from My Conquest is the Sea of Stars. <laughs> Four years from now, my boy. You're gonna be your soulmate. All right, that was it for this storyline. But before we wrap it up, let's talk about the ending. It just attacks you with that electric guitar right from the beginning. Love it. Love me a good guitar solo. But the vibe is like, it's distinct, you know? I definitely don't mix this up with other EDs. The visuals are beautiful too. But at least until they show sister. Kidding! She looks amazing in this. But can they sell me on this ship? Thank you for watching and see y'all in the next one. Reinhardt Summer.